can't believe there's yet more bad news. It's so easy to get discouraged and focus on the bad news. So let's talk about that for a little bit today. So hey there everybody, it's Rev Kev. Welcome to my Geek Corner for another edition of Motivational Monday on Tuesday. <laughs> and I said last week that Motivational Monday is going to go back to Monday and here we are again on another Tuesday doing Motivational Monday on Tuesday. So I think that's going to be my new hook. Motivational Monday on Tuesday. Let's just roll with that, shall we? For those of you that are new to the channel, man, I so appreciate you stopping by. It would mean the world to me if you become a part of the community. Hit that subscribe button. Most of the people who watch my videos are actually not subscribers, and I'm getting closer and closer to that magic 1,000 number. would love to be able to hit that number early on in the new year, and so your subscription would really mean the world to me to kind of just keep investing in the geek corner here, having lots of fun talking books and geek stuff and Star Wars and just, just having a good time together doing it. And so on Motivational Mondays, or Motivational Monday on Tuesday, whatever I'm going to do, uh, I like to talk about leadership stuff and, you know, different things that we're growing in and how we kind of walk alongside one another in this season that is just kind of nuts. So here in my part of Canada where I live, they have just announced uh, yesterday that we're going into yet another season of lockdown. So we're going into another four weeks where uh, businesses are, are, only essential businesses are going to remain open. Non-essential businesses, if they're capable of doing online or curbside, they're, they're going to go um, back to that. Uh, churches are going back to online. And, and it's just kind of another way to deal with this pandemic that we've been dealing with for the past 10 months and obviously this is disappointing obviously this causes a lot of frustration it causes a lot of tension it causes a lot of division and so i don't want to focus on that because there are a lot of things and a lot of negative things that we could be focused on um as you know just people going through the the situation that we're dealing with um, I know so many of you have, have lost jobs. I know so many of you have lost loved ones. I know so many of you have lost freedoms. And there's just so much at stake here. And, and I get the pain and the hardship and the difficulty that all of this creates. And so I don't want to belittle the pain. I don't want to belittle the difficulty. But I believe, especially as a follower of Jesus, I think it's so incredibly important to actually fix our eyes on the positive. I think the battle that we are in right now is not a battle against people. It's not a battle against government. It's not a battle against people who disagree with us, but it's a battle right here for those six inches of real estate in our own brain. How are we thinking? How are we processing this? You know, the Bible actually has a great verse that I quote all the time, and this is kind of kicking it from the King James version, kicking it old school, where it says, as a man thinks, so he is. What you allow in here really dictates who you are, how you're going to live your life, how you're going to interact with people, how you're going to deal with these things. So I personally have really found it so beneficial, even in the difficulties, even in the struggles, even when things are just sucky <laughs> and things have been really sucky this year. How do I focus on the positive and, and intentionally look for the positives? I mean, in my role as a pastor, I, I hear the negative stuff from people's lives. Absolutely. I hear the negatives. I come alongside people during some of their lowest points in their lives. Our own family, we've dealt with a lot of lows this year. We've lost family members who we deeply love. We lost our dog that we deeply love. We've lost my, my wife lost her job for a while, you know, because of this stuff. My daughter just lost her job yesterday because of going into another lockdown. Like, it's, it just sucks. And it just is what it is. But... We've also seen incredible blessings in this season. We've seen, in our church, we've seen over 73 people put their faith in Jesus through our online ministry. We've seen our youth ministry double in the number of teenagers that are coming out. But we got a new addition to the family, in case you saw the paws playing with my Santa hat. You know, we got this cute little kitten that we rescued from a barn, and she's incredibly friendly and incredibly healthy. We've seen people so blessed. I've seen people practice generosity in ways that I have never seen before. People bringing food to people, people bringing meals to people, people helping out with 
bills. Uh, we're actually kind of coming alongside a family from Nigeria to help them get a business started up, you know, for their family because of how COVID has impacted that country. So there's just so many amazing, amazing things that are going on. And it's easy, easy, easy to focus on the negative and be a negative Nancy. And so my motivational Monday on Tuesday for you is to spend some time thinking about the positive. Even in the worst case scenario, like it, it, whatever you've been dealing with this season, I guarantee if you spend a little bit of time looking for it, a little bit of time looking for it, you will find some amazing positive things that have come into your life. So I want to encourage you over this Christmas season to not focus on what you've lost, not focus on what's being denied you, the traditions that you normally like to do, the family gatherings that you normally like to do. Don't focus on what you don't have. But spend some time this Christmas season focusing on the blessings that you do have. Whether it's your health, whether it's your immediate family, whether... Ow! You, she bit me! Whether it's your cat, you, whatever. Ah, she's biting me again! No, it's not time to play. I'm doing my YouTube video. Come on! So, whatever that is for you, spend some time focused on the positive. And I really, really hope that, um, that you'll see that and you'll be blessed by spending some time focusing on how... There are blessings in your life, even in difficult situations. So that's all I wanted to share today on this Motivational Monday on Tuesday. Until the next video, man, thank you so much for joining us. And again, I would love to know, what are you thankful for this Christmas season? Just share that with me in the comment section below. And you know what? I believe in prayer. And if you're going through anything right now, you can send me a private message on Twitter. Or you can put it in the comment section. And I commit to be praying for you over the Christmas holidays in whatever your... Uh, any area that you're looking for help in, in your life. So God bless you. Merry Christmas, everybody. And until the next video, we'll talk to you later.